Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, my name is Dana Levy Dietrich. I'm the founder of Canna Career Partners here in New York. We are a career consulting resume development firm. And we work primarily with uh, folks who are looking to transition into the cannabis industry from other job, uh, from other industries, but also folks who are already in the cannabis industry and are looking to advance their careers. Um, so we've got about 15 minutes today. I'm just going to run through a couple of slides on how to create a resume specifically for the cannabis industry. And then uh, I'll take some questions at the end if you want to pop those into the chat there. So. Um, Great. And uh, my email will be at the end. If you're interested in getting a copy of the presentations so that you don't have to take notes, you can feel free to email me and uh, I can send that along to you as a PDF. Okay. Great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and share the presentation screen here and we can go through that. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to touch on how to create a cannabis resume for the market, how to highlight your most relevant skills, transferable skills, and uh, make sure that you're standing out to hiring managers. So I'm going to touch briefly for a second on the cannabis market. Uh, as we've heard a couple of times today, the cannabis market is one of the fastest growing markets, job markets in the U.S., which is great. I think uh, Sloan or David mentioned 30 percent year over year. One of the few industries that saw growth last year, despite everything, and projected to reach billions in growth over the next few years. So one of the great things is that there's a lot of job opportunity across all different sectors, backgrounds, um, areas of expertise. You know, and that's in both direct cannabis companies, you know, can, uh, companies that directly touch the plant, like dispensaries, growing uh, growers, brands that create products. Uh, but also ancillary companies as well. Those are companies that don't directly touch the plan, anything in professional services, marketing, construction, finance, security, legal, things like that. So the great thing is that there's really a broad range of job opportunities and career opportunities for people from all different uh, backgrounds. No. And one of the things I've always loved about the cannabis industry, you know, I used to recruit heavily in advertising, marketing, um, those kinds of areas. And the cannabis industry is really a lot more open to embracing candidates that don't necessarily have prior industry experience. So if it's, it's a little bit easier to maybe break into to translate your skill set, you know, salaries are fairly competitive. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of jobs in demand. So definitely good news for job seekers and career changers. So I just put this slide in here. I just wanted to show you real quick, you know, a, a range of companies that actually scaled up their hiring in 2020, despite everything. So you'll see some of the bigger companies like Tilray and Afria, major, major uh, manufacturing companies, Curaleaf, nationwide dispensary chain. Just to show, you know, there's really, really that job growth is happening despite everything that's gone on, obviously, in the last 12 months or so. Um, so first, I would just want to talk a little bit about how to optimize your cannabis job search. Obviously, the foundation of that is really building out a strong resume and cover letter that reflects your relevant experience if you've already been in the cannabis market or your transferable skills from another industry if you're looking to break in. Um, so a really great tool would be to connect with recruiters like Flower Hire who really understand the cannabis market. They're going to have those relationships in place that they can leverage on your behalf to make sure that they're getting your resume to the right person. It's a really great tool. Also just you know, pay attention to building your network. Always be connecting with other peers in the industry through events like this, following companies, following cannabis thought leaders. Um, obviously LeafWire and LinkedIn are great for that. I mentioned some of the other platforms down here that where you can really connect with other cannabis enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, um, and professionals to build your network. Start researching, you know, different opportunities. And I say different job titles because a lot of times, you know, it's some companies refer to different functions, different roles in various ways. You know, somebody might be a web developer or another company might refer to it as a software engineer. And the reason I say that is because you really want to try to match the language of your resume to the job description. So pay attention to, you know, how different companies in the cannabis space are referring to the types of roles, the types of functions that you're targeting. And then, of course, you know, always be building your knowledge base, you know, follow the legislation that's impacting cannabis legalization, you know, in your market, in other markets. Um, that's really just going to help boost your resume. 
So in terms of creating a strong resume specific to the cannabis market, um, a couple different things that I always emphasize. Obviously, if you don't have prior industry experience, transferable skills are going to be really important. And what I mean by that are, you know, skill sets that are not necessarily industry specific. This is the type of experience and knowledge that you've built maybe in a different sector that you can bring into the cannabis space. Um, so really the goal of the resume is to show how you can replicate, you know, what you did and the success that you had in another industry, say finance or nonprofit or creative, something like that, and how you can replicate that in the cannabis market. So the way that you're going to do that is by highlighting um, transferable skills in the form of one, you have hard skills, which are kind of like the uh, functional skills day to day that you use to do your job whether that's like marketing, sales, customer service, you know, finance, relationship building, product development, packaging. Those are all examples of hard skills, you know, the function of your job. You can see they're not necessarily um, industry specific and could translate well into another field like cannabis. And then same thing with um, soft skills. These are more like personal attributes, qualities that, again, are transferable to another space, things like and this is a good one, you know, being able to function well in a startup environment. That's a big one. Um, work ethic, willingness to learn, adaptability, leadership. One thing I didn't mention in this list that I want to throw out there, anybody who's worked in an industry like food and beverage, um, some transportation, things that are highly regulated, um, especially if you work with any kind of perishable goods, those are all always really good things to highlight on a cannabis resume. Companies like to see people who have that kind of experience, especially if you are dealing directly with the plant. Um, as David mentioned earlier, passion is really essential to this industry. You know, companies want to hire people who are passionate about cannabis, about the industry as a whole. And I think that's a good way, good thing to highlight, you know, if it makes sense <laughs> in your cover letter, your resume, and in the interview. And what I mean by this is, Think about why you want to get into cannabis. You know, do you have a personal experience with the plant that really inspired you to, to be part of this movement? Or maybe you know somebody else who did. I hear that a lot from candidates who, you know, maybe had been using cannabis uh, for a long time and it really kind of showed them the benefits of what it can do. And that's what kind of pushed them to explore it more as a career. So that's something that you can weave into the resume as well. And then, as I mentioned, you always want to really match the resume to the job description. You know, look at the language they're using, look at the keywords, the job titles, and really try to weave those in so that when somebody looks at it, they're going to immediately see um, a pretty close match. This I'm going to talk on in a second because I think it's important. You can talk about gray market experience on the resume. What I mean by that is, you know, maybe you have been in cannabis before it was legal and you have some experience and knowledge, obviously it's a little tricky to address in a professional space sometimes like the resume, but you can talk about it and it can definitely add value. So uh, I do, I'll touch on that right after this. So real quick, just some things that should, uh, that do belong in the resume here, obviously a nice strong summary statement that kind of tells your reader a little bit about you from the get-go, education, work experience, obviously any relevant skills, you can talk about volunteer work, professional affiliations, you know, if you're part of any cannabis uh, industry associations, that's something to talk about on here. Relevant social media profiles, you know, if you're on LinkedIn, LeafWire, you can include those. A couple of things not to include, obviously, photographs, images, personal data. We don't really put that kind of thing on a resume in the U.S. traditionally. Obviously, some of these other things here don't want to talk too much in slang, abbreviations that maybe somebody else might not understand. Okay. When I say experience as challenging to discuss, um, you know, anything that's not really adding to the narrative or the conversation, maybe it was a job experience that was a, not a good one or you got let go. Sometimes it's okay to leave those kinds of things off the resume, you know, if they're not positively adding to the conversation. So speaking of prior experience, definitely want to talk about how you can position your experience outside of the legal market if you have that. Because really any experience that you bring to a company in this space is going to be an asset. So like I said, call it gray market experience. And, you know, you don't have to, let's, let's say you, let's say you ran a uh, growing operation, personal, personal one um, for a while. You know, you don't have to focus on 
the details, the day-to-day, the legalities of it. Focus instead on like the knowledge that you bring to it. You know, maybe you built up a really great knowledge of the plant, of different strains, of different effects. Those are the things that you want to highlight. You don't have to really touch on, you know, the intricate details of the day-to-day if they're a little difficult to talk to. Same thing with any kind of transferable skills that maybe you picked up working in cannabis, um, anything from running a business, managing a team, you know, running a budget or a P&L. These are all things that you can highlight on there from kind of a high level. Um, and then, of course, you know, any industry involvement, maybe you were involved in meetups or networking groups, you followed a lot of publications online, these are all or training that you did. These are all things that you can talk about as well to, to uh, add to the resume. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we can really weave in why you're passionate about the industry. Did you have personal experiences that really, you know, help you to see the value? So, uh, so just to recap, you know, a couple of things here. Uh, cannabis job market is obviously growing very quickly. And, you know, you want to be able to, you want to take advantage of that. Focus on building a resume that's going to help you tap into that market, either, you know, boosting experience you already have or looking at how you can apply experience that you have from another sector and bring over those skill sets. Okay. So I want to leave a little bit of time for questions here. These are just some additional tips. Like I said, um, if you'd like a copy of this or you have any questions, you're interested in how Canada Career Partners can help you uh, develop your resume and marketing materials, here's my email and our website. You can feel free to reach out to us there and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.